All righty, Steeler Nation. Welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. Maybe, hopefully, that wasn't too bright with the Bengals sucking. Uh, I know you guys out there. That's why I'm wearing my sunglasses because it's just too, too much loser. A lot of loser, a lot of history of the Bengals absolutely sucking. And I had to cover it up with a great organization, that being the Steelers. So I'll take these off. Um, I hope you guys are doing well out there in, in uh, Steel Nation land and having a good time. Over in America, it was your total eclipse. We didn't get it here. It wasn't like that. Uh, we were sleeping and yeah, it was your side of the planet. So I thought, do a bit something, a bit of fun. Have a, have a good time with it. But uh, let's get involved in some Steelers talk. Now, in today's episode, you guys know this. I am not a draft guy. I will do my best. So don't go at me in the comments. I'm not a scout. I'm not an expert. I see funny names. I see like you know, where the Steelers should fit and uh, get certain players and stuff like that. But in this episode, sorry, my voice broke. In this episode, um, the Steelers have done my job for me. They're already scared of the players. They're bringing guys into the organization and they're allowed 30 pre, I think, draft visits to come and visit Heinz Field and test them out. You know what I'm saying? Look at look at the product before they go on, you know, buy, preview before you buy, right? Buyers beware. So let's have a bit of a look here. Uh, I went to Twitter, as I always do on, on, on these kind of things. Uh, Nick Farabar says, Steelers pre-draft visits tracker updated. Number of visits, visits for each position. Quarterback five, receiver five, DL five, tackle four, running back of one, quarterback one, center one, and guard one. Now, I will break down some of these plays that some of the players that I do know will, will look at them and, you know, see where they'd fit with the Steelers team. But I do find this very interesting. Steelers are going after cornerback and receiver and defensive line. Seems like their priority. Of course, offensive tackle too for the right tackle or, you know, depending what happens with left tackle and, and Jones moving over. Quarterback was kind of interesting. That was Penix Jr. and one running back plus the center and guard. There was no, to my account, no Jackson Powers Johnson um, at the center. So these are the ones I've seen so far. And that was via Twitter, right? Now, here's something really cool also that I found out a few days ago. Uh, when I was trying to organize this episode. This is the best time to do it. So I found this out. So history has shown the strong correlation between the players the team brings in and the ones that drafted later in the month. So guys, we only have two or three weeks to go before the draft coming up very shortly, right? This is via uh, Steelers Depot. So shout out to Steelers Depot. Hey, everybody. Uh, El- no, no, that's <laughs> that's my impression of Alex, Alex, Alex Gazora. Hey, everybody. All right, keep moving on. So we have here later this year, the Steelers selected uh, uh, Darnell Washington, tackle Broderick Jones, Keanu Benton, and cornerback Joey Porter Jr. They all had visits to the to the Steelers. So four players from last year had visits, and the Steelers selected them. Now, that makes sense, right? You've got 30 players you can select. Of course, you're probably going to get one or two of those guys. But I would say, out of these blokes here, we have... Running back, Dylan Johnson, Ricky Purcell, receiver, uh, Malachi, Cor- who's that bloke? Malachi Corley, uh, Xavier Leggett, who I know, Taj Washington, Luke McCaffrey, I think that's um, Christian McCaffrey's brother, offensive guard, Stephen Jones, Fuaga, Glover, Mims, Fisk. A lot of these blokes here, at least one of those guys is probably going to be a stealer. And also the second list too. We have here Darius Robinson, Christian Boyd, Michael Penix Jr., I think that's the quarterback. Phillips, Wiggins, uh, the cornerback who's been, I think he's been pretty, uh, in the mock drafts, he's been going very high for the Steelers, maybe at 20. So do the do the Steelers go and get a cornerback at 20? Could be a possibility. So we have here Mason Smith, uh, Devonshire, Hardy, uh, Gone Glaives, Gone Claves for the tackle too. So all those blokes have been reported to go to Pittsburgh. Now, here's your job where I need you, the viewer at home, to help me and let me know who these blokes are. I have no idea. I'll do my best right now. Okay, so so what I do know is Xavier Leggett is a pretty good receiver, tall bloke, and I went to his, you know, uh, draft scouting report via the Bleacher Report, all those kind of things. He's six foot one. He has a uh, 40-yard time of 4.39. And he says here, great size, build for position, tall, muscular frame, uh, bully ball mentality, yak player. We need that kind of stuff. And his comparison was to uh, Kenny Britt from the Titans. So that's kind of interesting. 
And if the Steelers were to bring in a receiver, they're bringing in, in a guy to be num- receiver number two. You've got George Pickens on one side, Calvin Austin, see how that works out. But same time, they're going to run the ball with the tight ends. You know, go with Muth and Washington. But do they go receiver in the second round or where does someone fall? I still think at this point that the Steelers are going at 20. They're going to go off into tackle or center. And speaking of tackles, you have these blokes here. Uh, Fuaga, Glover, Mims, who's the Georgia. Do the Steelers go and get the Georgia Bulldog and pair him with Jones on the other side, Washington and Pickens? You're almost fielding pretty much four or five players who are from uh, the Georgia Bulldogs. So that could be very, very uh, intriguing as well. Another player I wanted to, wanted to mention was Luke McCaffrey. He's a wide receiver. I'll be very honest. I know nothing about him. Nothing. But what I do know is he's got a brother in the league and Mike Tomlin likes those kind of storylines where if you have a brother, cousin, father, uncle, grandfather, if you're somehow connected to the league and your name is already, you know, uh, has a bit of heritage behind it or a bit of law legend, Christian McCaffrey is one of the best running backs in the league. If you are connected to a brother or a relative, Mike Tomlin will sign you up in a heartbeat. So that is one to watch too. So Luke McCaffrey out of, out of Rice, uh, wide receiver. And back to the tackles too. So Glover, uh, Mims. Also too, I've been hearing some good good reports about Braden Fisk too. He's a pretty high price defensive tackle. So would the Steelers go DT at 20? I don't think so. I think maybe O-line first. And then the second round pick, maybe DT. But there's another bloke I want to I um, look over is this guy is absolutely huge. I didn't know about him until about two days ago. Most most like players, right? Most of the players. So Stephen Jones from Oregon, I went to his draft profile. And for his draft profile, this bloke is 342 pounds. That is 155 kilos for me. He's six foot five. Now it says here he's actually like a guard. He plays more of a guard. So that could be interesting because even still, James Daniels, I think, has one more one more year on, on his contract. And the Steelers need more depth. I don't know if they go put it past him to go and get a guy like that. But I want to see blokes on the line that are huge, massive, and want to run downhill for Najee and for Warren. So anyways, I might try and throw a photo up of um, Stephen Jones right here because he's massive. He's 155 kilos. He's six foot five. He's a big dude. And I'm pretty sure he plays guard, but I could be wrong. Anyways, let's go to the other list and we'll start to wrap it up. So we have here Darius Robinson, Boyd. Uh, quarterback is the most interesting player for me at this point because the Steelers already have uh, Russell Wilson, Fields, Kyle Allen to be the backup. Would the Steelers go and get another quarterback early in the, early in the rounds to build for the future? I, I Right now, I don't know what Omar Khan's going to do, so... But they brought him in for um, you know a visit, a workout, and see what happens. And of course, to cornerback uh, Nate Wiggins, would the Steelers go up into a high draft pick and uh, bring another cornerback with JPJ on one side, Wiggins on the other? They got the guy Dante uh, Jackson from uh, the Panthers. He's in there playing cornerback too. Anyways, your part. Let me know in the comments below who you think, what you think about these players. I'll go th- through the list one more time. So Purcell, Corley, Johnson, Leggett, Washington, Stephen Jones, Fuaga, Glover, Mims, Fisk. All these guys have, have been to the Steelers or to the facility. Penix, Phillips, Wiggins, Mason, Smith, Devonshire, Hardy, and Gonclaves. All right. So in total, we have five quarterbacks, five receivers, five DLs, four tackles, quarterback, running back, center, guard. Now, from previous history from last year, the Steelers are probably going to draft two or three of these players, it looks like. But which players will the Steelers draft? We don't know.